Good afternoon. Now we talk about colors, yeah? visual effects. So basically, um, yeah, we are going to highlight today the various innovations we are going to, to showcase yeah, at the next case show. Uh, just in a nutshell, we are aiming at providing the industry brilliant and attractive colors and effects, but never compromising with safety and performance. And this is for today, but also future needs. With our customers, we are basically trying to innovate. Uh, we are looking at the trends we see in the market and also together look at ways to overcome the limitations they are facing. And we have to say that these days, the plastics industry is very much at the crossroad. Uh, you heard that the whole day today. Um, never the requirements have been so complex and also looking at smarter and more sustainable coloring solutions. And for us, that means uh, lots of new challenges. But we believe that we have, you know, application know-how, chemical know-how. We have also a strong PSNR uh, know-how, and we are innovating. I think we are showcasing today six new products. So we are able to cope uh, with these uh, challenges together with our customers. Another topic, which was sustainability, that we saw also today, we are also going to show ways to help uh, by smarter design to increase recycling of colored plastics. I come uh, back to that later. The first series of products I'm going to uh, showcase and we're going to launch you know, at the K Fair are addressing the needs for highest possible performance requirements, meaning very high heat polymers or very long outdoor type of performance. Here, we are first going to launch the Cicopal Red K3050, which is a new uh, chemical, which is a new product with a new color index, Pigment Red 290. And this product is basically developed to get to the last mile of performance. And if you compare with the, uh, on the chart here on the right side, if you compare with other high-performing type of pigments for the industry, we can see that this red is really opening a new color space. If you take here, I guess that's working, yes. The red aroxide pigment, which is very high performing, we are much more chromatic, more, more attractive, more vivid. And if you take here the orange pigment, which has very high performance as well, like orange, you know, pigment orange 82, we can see that we are more redder. So in fact, what you are doing, we are just simply opening a new color space for people making I know, applications uh, for this extreme uh, performance requirements. A second product you are going to uh, basically introduce is Chinquasia Rubin K4370, which is a, an organic pigment this time. And that was developed to um, basically offer reliable and, and very robust uh, processing into polyamide resin, including also nylon field resin. And this product basically has got also a very high resistance properties together with a very good dispersion. That means ease of processing and dispersion. And therefore, it shows that you can use it in all the processing stages regarding polyamide uh, coloration. It has also food contact components. That means it's, it can also be used in sensitive application like polyamide films, for instance. Another area where we are providing innovations, uh, which is somehow uh, back to the essence of pigmentation. What do we put pigments in plastics or substrates? Is to make them more attractive, to make them more fancy and appealing. And here we are really back to the, to the, to the, to the base, which is you know, giving brilliant, vivid, and attractive shades for the consumers. And we are going to launch two new products, which are these Luminar Royale products, effect pigments. Um, we launched, and three years ago I was there already, in Stamberger, uh, we launched the Luminar Royale Dragon Gold, which has been very much uh, used also in the industry for cosmetics uh, application, for instance. And we have already six products on that range, and we are going to add two new products starting at the K-Show uh, this year. These products are done with a technology that allows to clearly uh, manage the, the shape of the pigment, together with the surface control of the pigment, and the way we treat the pigment makes the shade extremely bright and, and, and sparkling. So at the end, you are really able to catch the attention of the consumer. That's the reset that will be first launched, Luminar Royale Reset, which is really much on the red side, eh, opening new styling possibilities for designers. And we'll have also following the amber that is more able to cover the orange, you know, gold, and even close to red shades. 
Another area where you may not expect BSF to be, which is still about you know, providing appeal, providing eye-catching, is, is what we have here with black, piano black type of colors. You have to maybe see that the piano black colors can be done in coatings, can be done in a lot of substrates, but for plastics, it's always very difficult because those carbon blacks are extremely fine and very difficult to disperse. And in plastics, usually people face problems. And what you are doing now is that with this Microlin uh, Piano Black 77 MCN, we are just using a technology to finally and ultimately disperse the carbon black particles in order that the plastics industry can reuse that more efficiently. That means enabling again more Piano Black and deep black shades to be used in the industry. Another good um, effect of this technology is that since we have the particles extremely well dispersed in the plastics, that means at the end that you don't risk to minimize your mechanical properties. You can also enhance your gloss when you're using these products because the pigment is extremely finely dispersed. Just to give you an idea of, of what it means, just compared to a standard you know, master batch, black master batch used in the industry, we can see that the lightness value, that means the depth of shade, is reduced by using this Microlin Black 77 MCN. On the other side, you see that mechanical properties like impact strengths, even at very negative temperatures, is also retained. That means we have less risk of downgrading the mechanical properties of the, of the, of the compound uh, by using the Microlin. So here you can see that this technology allows carbon black to be used, eh? and we overcome a limitation of dispersibility problems of these carbon blacks in plastics. Another problem, which is seen is, uh, again with carbon black, is in packaging. I guess you heard that. Recycling a black colored packaging scrap or waste is very difficult because carbon black absorbs every infrared, and at the end, the sorting machines are usually infrared sorting machines in waste management facilities. What you are doing here now with uh, this so-called Cico Black, Cico Pal Black uh, technology is to avoid the use of carbon black, then to allow then the sorting and the detection of the plastic scrap as being uh, polyester, polypropylene, and then they can be recycled. Otherwise, they would have to be just landfilled or incinerated, which is a waste. Huh? So in that case, we have worked with a, a sorting equipment manufacturer, and we have been testing, of course, carbon black, and here even traces of carbon black, like 0 0.05, 0 0.01%, can really have a big problem for sorting the, the scrap. The use of the Cicopal black, in fact, was reaching 100%. That means we can reliably sort the polymer, which is black colored. Yeah. So at the next case show, we are going to basically introduce a Cicopal black, product, which is basically based on that you know, technology platform we have, huh, which is infrared reflective. And of course, we are looking at making the black even more dense in terms of color. And also, we are going to extend the food compliance of this product. We are today already European 10-2011 uh, food compliant. Huh? We expect to also get US FDA and China GB, for instance. And here, we are also having a, a strong point in a way that, you know, when you use this product, it's rather neutral black. You don't have an undertone. If you look at the color sometimes by transparency or reflection, sometimes they are blue or they have a different color. In that case, you're rather neutral. So for uh, closed loop recycling processes or for multiple recycling steps, this product will be an advantage against, you know, standard, you know, trichromy blend approaches that, that some people can offer. So I would say that's it for the moment. Uh, please stay in touch with us. Uh, we have more innovations also coming uh, at the K Show. We will put all this innovation in a nice, uh, you know, a color collection that Ponton has developed uh, for us. So at the K Show, we will also exhibit this together with a color collection made by Ponton. Yeah. Thank you very much for your attention. BASF. We create chemistry.